New York always is in a state of change. This was probably the first time where it didn't change. You know, there, there was this reconnection to nature, which is very much about New York. It's just a different kind of nature. The city was in lockdown, and so there was this incredible space to New York City that I've never experienced before. It gave me a lot of ideas to go out and explore places that I was familiar with, that I had streets I had loved, areas that I had, you know, seen a million times with a million people around, and yet it was as if it was an empty set. For a photographer, what is that spaciousness in New York City like? That was a daydream. That was yeah. a dream come true to be able to have, you know, these epic landscapes. I could drive anywhere, I could hang off the bridges, I could, you know, hop over and light a train, a subway car if I wanted to. There was so much opportunity to make great imagery. The beginning of this project was that social media component where you're going out, you're putting these photos on your Instagram, and New Yorkers who are indoors and not going outdoors are really seeing the city transform for the first time. I think the response and the gratitude I got from the first couple of posts, there was this need from those who had taken a pause from the city to just, you know, have some reassurance that it, it, it hadn't just you know, gotten washed away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I remember running up to Yankee Stadium. We hoofed it up there right before sunset, and right as the sun was eclipsing against the building. And as we were driving back, we hit 125th Street, and I saw the big Apollo sign which was like a yet another message to all New Yorkers. And you know, New York is really known for its public art, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's everywhere. Yeah. Where there's this one sign in Midtown, which is the Hope sign. And behind the Hope sign in the frame was a Chase Bank sign. And all together it says? So it said Chase Hope. So Doyers has always been to me like the ultimate Chinatown, New York City street, maybe even the best street in New York City. But you could never find that street empty unless you closed it off. Here was this magnificent gift. And then probably a minute or two into setting up my camera, this lone bicycle messenger came pedaling through that one street. You know, we were walking through the West Village and it reminded me of a long walk home from a party and stopping and noticing the city very, very still. And there's like Cafe Wall and there's that, that whole strip of, you know, these little like old school Greenwich Village, you know, coffee houses and comedy rooms that people have performed in for years. There wasn't a soul on the street. This is an art book, but it's also a historical document. It's capturing a really specific moment in time. Some of the moments were very much built around the kind of gravitas and the poetry of the city. And then some of the images were about the time that we're living in. Documenting is about recording what is always going to be temporary, because everything always changes. It's not like a motivation, it's more of a curiosity. And the curiosity finds its way on a piece of paper.
Mary Alice, thank you so much for uh, being a uh, important part to this journey of the city that finally sleeps. And we also want to thank B&H and Sony and all the good people at New York Cares.